we are grateful to have such a leader our vice chancellor professor yogesh singh as chief guest who leads us with a great vision and compassion i am honored to invite you sir on the podium to address this gathering with your impactful words namaste good morning good morning to all of you professor balram pani dean of colleges university of delhi professor dev jyoti choudhary dean faculty of science Professor Sanjay Kumar Chamoli, Chairman of the of this international conference, Professor Vipin Agarwal, Principal of Sri Aurobindo College, University of Delhi, Professor Ashutosh, Professor Shyamarath, Director IQAC, Professor Geeta Bhat, Director NCWeb, Professor Suresh Kumar, other respected head of the departments, outstanding delegates from India and abroad. respected faculty members and my dear students and friends good morning good morning to all of you good morning pe jawab dete hain ha on behalf of university of delhi on behalf of university of delhi i welcome you all in this international conference on nuclear physics and applications as we all know delhi university is a centenary old university institution of eminence declared by government of india 328th rank by qs world university ranking and first in university category in qs university ranking in india congratulations for the same and our physics department is also doing very well physics department is a flagship department of the university its contribution in research and teaching is uh, commendable congratulations to all those who are from the physics department today i was surprised to listen to professor pani a professor of chemistry and he was speaking uh, so many complexities of physics and nuclear physics i would like to congratulate you for the same it is not easy like a professor of chemistry talking about uh, nuclear physics and its applications but he is dean of colleges so he looks after many things this is one of the thing which he looks after when i was going through the documents of the conference then immediately a question comes in my mind is nuclear physics although before uh, this question one of my friend said physics people are very intelligent people intelligent people physics professors scholars are very intelligent but then nuclear physics is subset of physics they may be super intelligent <laughs> and you want to pose a question beware of it you should talk to uh, the such uh, intelligent audience very carefully so the question which comes in my mind is nuclear physics necessary for humanity when i was going through the documents of the conference and its application nuclear physics and its application i am not student of physics but this question which immediately comes in the mind is nuclear physics necessary for humanity i am not going to answer this you have to think about it although the topic is very interesting important and relevant and this question is also very important and relevant you all have i do understand you all have reasons to say yes rightly so also you are better trained better equipped better know the depth of the subject also and then when we talk about the applications four applications were mentioned energy production healthcare national security and environment protection broadly broadly in uh, in the document it was mentioned then again another question comes comes in my mind is it essential for india like is nuclear physics is essential for india and its growth story because we all know that honorable prime minister of india has taken a sankalp that india will be a developed nation by 
is it achievable third question is is it achievable without nuclear physics so i have posed three questions one is related to humanity second is related to growth story of our country and third is the sankalp of honorable prime minister and now it has become the sankalp of the people of india that india will be a developed nation by 2047 is it achievable without nuclear physics like first i thought let me go into the details of the first application which is a very common application and uh, uh, energy production we all know energy is important for us and when we are uh, on the path of uh, developing uh, india then energy has become more important and nuclear power plants generates 9 to 10% of total electricity globally and india we generate 3% of the electricity through nuclear power plants and our current nuclear capacity is 6780 megawatts and government of india has a target to achieve enhance this to 9% by 2047 so our objective is what to achieve a level which globally it has already achieved 9% and we we think that by 2047 india should have 9% electricity generation through nuclear power plants but you know we have to remember two things here before making our mind whether it is required or not required two things which are also we have to look into first is india has promised the world that it will be it will achieve net zero emissions by 2070 second is our energy demand will be four times by 2047 so we have to keep in mind energy demands and our promise to the world that india will be net zero emission by 2070 so we have to work in this framework we have to work in this framework keeping all these constraints with us and then decide should we go for should we go for enhancement of nuclear power uh, electricity generation this is a question we all know what has happened in the atomic reactors in japan it may happen anywhere this is uh, and in the conferences in delhi university and the ex so many experts are present here think about it i don't want to say anything yes or no it is you have to advise the humanity former president of india apj abdul kalam stated while he was in office like uh, sometimes after former we may say many things because we are not that accountable but he was in office he said energy independence in india's first and highest priority energy independence in india is india's first and highest priority india has to go for nuclear power generation india has to go for nuclear power generation in a big way using thorium based reactors thorium a non fissile material is available in abundance in our country and we all know india holds 25% of the world's thorium reserves but my question is different it is not the question of using thorium uranium or plutonium should we use it but yes if we have to generate electricity because we have thorium so we can easily resolve that we should use thorium but question is beyond that how can we find other ways of electricity generation which are safe environment friendly and cost effective this is a big challenge nuclear scientists should find answers next the application aspect is national security which was mentioned in the booklet national security we all know smiling buddha operation of 1974 and operation shakti of 1998 after operation shakti 1998 we became full fledged nuclear state we all know operation shakti 
हाथ खड़े कर दो ना थोड़ा सा किसी किस को मालूम है बहुत कम को मालूम है क्या ठीक पोखरन वन एंड पोखरन टू पोखरन वन वॉज नेम्ड स्माइलिंग बुद्धा एंड पोखरन टू विच हैपन ड्यूरिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टरशिप ऑफ अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी इन 1998 ऑपरेशन शक्ति वी बिकेम फुल फ्लैश न्यूक्लियर स्टेट पाकिस्तान यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका कैनेडा अपोस्ड क्रिटिसाइज अस सेंक्शन फॉर इंपोज ऑन आर कंट्री वी फेस्ड दो सेंक्शन बट इट वॉज एसेंशियल फॉर अस इट वॉज मैंडेटरी फॉर अस टू बिकम ए फुल फ्लैश न्यूक्लियर स्टेट पाकिस्तान सेट स्टेटेड वी वुड नेवर सकम टू न्यूक्लियर ब्लैकमेल और एक्सेप्ट इंडियन हैगमनी और डोमिनेशन ओवर दी सब कॉन्टिनेंट वी ऑल नो वर्ड इज नॉट फेयर वर्ड ऑर्डर इज ऑल्सो नॉट फेयर वी हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ आर कंट्री वी हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट द बाउंड्रीज सेफ्टी ऑफ बाउंड्रीज ऑफ आर कंट्री दैट्स वाई हेयर हेयर nuclear physics is mandatory for us nuclear physics is mandatory for us and if we want to become a developed nation it will be more important for us and when i talk about the uh, the safety of indian borders then i would like to quote because after pokhran 2 there is a hindi poet hariyom pawar he wrote a poem parmanu visphot i would like to quote few lines from his poem after 1998 he wrote ki charkhon se nahi lada jata yuddhon mein stopon ke aage charkhon se nahi lada jata yuddhon mein topon ke aage ramayan nahi padhi jati seema par sholon ke aage dharti ke ghor ko haase ko keval suraj har sakta hai ko haasa hota hai andhera dharti ke ghor ko haase ko keval suraj har sakta hai atom bomb se raksha keval atom bomb hi kar sakta hai sooner we realize in india it is better for india he for the said aur badhe na ginti aage bharat maa par choton ki aur badhe na ginti aage bharat maa par choton ki is karan avashyakta thi parmanu visphoton ki japan par atom bomb hota to hiroshima nahi marta japan par atom bomb hota to hiroshima nahi marta nagasaki par american atom kabhi nahi girta लेकिन इसलिए लेकिन आजादी की रक्षा ताकत के बिना अधूरी है इसलिए हमारे हाथों में एटम बम बहुत जरूरी है इट इज एसेंशियल फॉर अस एंड लास्टली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइंस एटम के अनगिनित शोले हैं जिन देशों की मुट्ठी में एटम के अनगिनित शोले हैं जिन देशों की मुट्ठी में दुनिया को शिक्षा देते हैं सीटीबीटी की घुट्टी में सीटीबीटी के माने हैं हम अपना शीश उठाना लें जैसे बम उनके घर में है वैसे आज हम बना ना लें सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट दिस इंडिया विल नेवर एक्सेप्ट दिस क्योंकि भारत ने 800 वर्ष की गुलामी देखी है एंड वेन वी विल बिकम ए डेवलप नेशन थ्रेट्स विल बी वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ इंडिया आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल न्यूक्लियर साइंटिस्ट ऑफ आर कंट्री फॉर देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन India is indebted to our nuclear scientists. If we have to, then it is very, very essential for us. And just my dear students, those who are here, and the scholars, you have to, you have to contribute a lot for next 25 years. One side, we are going on the path of uh, uh, enhancing the size of our economy, but immediately the other problem is the protection and safety of our borders. and safety of uh, human beings that's why your discipline is very very essential for us kyunki jaan hai to jahan hai jaan hai to jahan hai aur jo imarat jitni unchi hoti hai na utni khatre mein hoti hai ab unchi ho rahi hai to khatre badhenge hamare and the my second question was is nuclear physics necessary for india and its growth story answer is yes yes and and government of india should invest 
more in this discipline, more in this discipline to become a developed nation. Another aspect is the healthcare, where Professor Pani spoke about healthcare and environment protection, because it's a very good discipline in, uh, in the medical care, diagnostic imaging, radiation therapy for cancer treatment, and so many, so many, so many things. May we have to, we have to work on the methods and pro methods, products, and tools for environment protection because climate change has become also become a reality. If we can design some tools, it will also be good for humanity. This conference will help to educate, train the next generation of uh, nuclear scientists for the protection of India and safety of uh, safety globally. But Subject is important, everything is important. Mindset is also important, why are we doing it? For the safety of the country, yes. For electricity generation, question mark. For medical, yes. For environment protection, if it is possible, because that is also there is a question. But if really this discipline can help us, we should go for it. And you know, as a country, as a culture, as a sanskar, we believe in Vasudhav Kutumbakam. Word is a family. Word is a for us, word is a family. We don't want to be a nuclear state for the destruction of others, but only for the protection of India and interest of India. We believe in Vasudhav Kutumbakam, and our scientists should also always remember that word is a family is the Devakya for India. My good wishes to scholars, delegates, and organizers for a meaningful and useful conference. Please debate, find answers, but, but whatever you are doing it, please protect the interest of our country, country experts, many things from us. Thank you very much.